Hello everyone, my name is Antonio Martinez. I am a software engineer at Intel. I'm just gonna give you a brief introduction about myself. I hold a bachelor degree in computer engineering and a master's degree in computer science. I've been in the software development industry for the past 10 years, focusing on computer vision applications at the edge. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a demo of the automated self-checkout which is a project that I've been working at Intel in 2023. This software provides critical components required to build and deploy a self-checkout use case using computer vision. Um, we are leveraging Intel hardware, software, and other open source components. This is the repo that you can find um, at GitHub. It's publicly available and open source. Some of the components that we're using, in this case, um, for Intel, we are using the OpenVINO, which is an inference engine to do computer vision and artificial intelligence applications. We are specifically using the OpenVINO model server, which is an scalable inference server for models optimized with OpenVINO. You can take a look at this at their repo. It's open source and you can get familiarized with the project, the architecture, and etc. For this demo, I have the following hardware. I'm using a 12th gen i7 CPU. I'm using the integrated GPU and also I'm using the discrete arc GPU. I'm gonna be using these both devices to run computer vision workloads or pipelines. Now we go here to the repo. I already have the repo clone. I already went through the process of building the Docker containers, downloading the different models and sample videos that, that I'm going to be using for this demo. Okay, so the first thing is um, we're using open source software stack for telemetry. So we want to run multiple computer vision workloads and then monitor the resources of our computer. In this case, we're using um, InfluxDB and Telegraph. So when we run this command, we can set the password that we want. It's going to start the InfluxDB and Telegraph containers in the background. Then we go to the following URL and then use telegraph of the username and then password one, two, three as the one we set in the command line. Then we import a dashboard that we already created. Uh, it's under the, under the telegraph folder and then we import the JSON file. We go here and then we have the Intel GPU or the integrated GPU, the discrete GPU, in this case is the ARC. We have the CPU and the memory usage. Right now everything is almost at zero since we are not running any, any workloads at this point. Okay, the second thing is um, we have some videos, some sample videos. If we go here to the folder, I'm going to be using this uh, video as the input, and then I'm going to run a camera simulator. This uh, script is going to take the video that we have in that folder and then create an RTSP path. I'm going to use that path as the input. Before I do that, the pipelines, they have the ability to extract the inference metadata and send it to an MQTT server. So I'm going to simulate or I'm going to run an MQTT broker in my local machine as a, a Docker container. So if I do Docker PS, um, I'm able to see the different Docker containers already running. We have a few for the camera simulator. And then, then we have the Telegraph, the InfluxDB, and then at the bottom we have the MQTT broker. Okay, um, 
if you want to, to see the, the available pipelines that we already have pre-built, you can do make list profiles. And then we have different samples. We have gRCP in Go, gRCP in Python, and then we have also C API for face detection. These are the different interfaces that the Open Vino model server uses to interact with the client. You can use gRPC or C API, and then you can use different languages, C++, Python, or Go. So we provide those examples already in our repo. Um, we have also some other pipelines, instance segmentation, classification, and object detection. If we go here to the uh, repo, there is a models folder. I already downloaded the models that I'm going to be using for the pipelines. For example, for classification, we are using the EfficientNet. For instance segmentation, we're using the instance segmentation model that is already pre-trained by the OpenVINO team. And then for object detection, we're using the SSD model or Jolo V5 model. I'm going to copy and paste the command to run the pipelines. So the first um, environment variable that we have is the device GPU. Um, in this case, I'm saying I'm going to run the pipeline on GPU. And then I have the profile which is the instant segmentation and then render mode one, which means I want to see the output and then the MQTT path. This is interesting because um, I'm setting my local host because I already run the MQTT broker on local host, but you can, you can set um, your path or your address to the cloud, for example, if you want to extract the metadata and send it to the cloud and then here I'm specifying that I want to use OVMS, which stands for OpenVINO model server. And then here I'm specifying the GPU, GPU.1, which means the ARC GPU, and zero is the integrated GPU. And then the, pa uh, the input, in this case, I want to use the camera zero. Once I run this command, if it's the first time, is going to download all the different models. I previously ran this command, so I already have all the models, and it's just going to take a few seconds to start the pipeline. So now, right now we see the output video, uh, we see the bounding boxes of the detection, and then the segmentation of the object, the label, in this case is a bottle, and then next to it is the accuracy. We can see the latency and the frames per second at the top. If I do a Docker PS, I'm going to see here the segmentation client and then the OVMS, the OpenVINO model server already running. One thing that I can do is I can copy the container name of this client and then over here, I have an MQTT client. I'm going to connect to my MQTT client or broker that I have here and then use that container name as the topic. In this case, it's the seg segmentation OVMS pipeline zero, PL zero. And we can see all the metadata flowing here. The bottle, the coordinates, the confidence, the score, all that here. Let's take a look at the um, system metrics. We can refresh this every 10 seconds. So since I'm running this pipeline on the Arc GPU, we can see that the Arc GPU is around 35%. So this is being used on, on, GP, on the Arc GPU. Now, if I want to run the same pipeline again, I can specify now that I want to run it on the integrated GPU. So I run the same command and I should have now two pipelines running, one on Arc GPU and the other one the, with the integrated GPU. 
it's just gonna take a few seconds and then we have here the second pipeline now running on the integrated GPU if we go back to the to the dashboard we can see now the iGPU being used um, this is really good because now we can make use of the entire hardware the entire system using the integrated GPU the district GPU we can also run pipelines on CPU and have heterogeneous applications running at the same time and making use of the entire machine. I'm going to run another uh, pipeline. In this case, I'm going to run a classification pipeline here. This is the profile. And I'm going to run it on the discrete GPU. Let's just give it a second. And by the way, if you go to the results folder, you can see the output or the logs of each pipeline. So for example, for the first pipelines that we run, we can see here the logs of the frames per second, um, the logs of the, the scripts. So if you want to do some benchmarking, we provide this data. Okay, so I already run the third pipeline, which is the classification over here. For classification, so it's trying to classify the objects, not only to say a bottle, for in, but in this case, it's trying to classify these bottles as water bottle, which is the highest score. So this is using the efficient net model. So now we have three pipelines running, two of them on the district GPU, and one of them on the integrated GPU. So if we take a look at the system metrics, we can still see the DGPU around 30% and the integrated GPU at 50%. We don't have anything on CPU other than the different processes, but we still have some room to run more pipelines. Um, so this is a, a demo for the automated self-checkout. Um, take a look at the repo, at the documentation. We have a quick start guide here to get you up and running with the pipelines. But we have more uh, explanation and details in our documentation for developers to, to start creating um, applications, to start testing Intel hardware and Intel software for artificial intelligence applications and computer vision applications at the edge. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.